Hi, this is Lori Whitlock, and I am going to give you instructions on how to assemble the gingerbread house box tote that you can find in the Silhouette online store and at lauriewhitlock.com. You can see that I have all the pieces cut out in front of you, in front of the screen here. Um, I'm just going to walk you through assembly. Uh, basically, you're going to first assemble the box portion or the house portion of the um, gift box. Um, I have done some pre-folding um, on all the perforated lines, as you can see, to kind of help things move along a little faster. I'm going to apply some glue to this flap um, on the main house portion. It connects the back and the front of the house together. Um, basically, I've put it on, on that bottom part of the flap, and I'm going to adhere this whole piece to the other side of the house. Um, kind of forms a two sides of your house. The next thing we're going to do is adhere these little side box flaps to each side. So I'm going to take the three little flaps and apply glue to them. Whoops. And I'm going to put the bottom flap on first, then I'll pull the sides of the house up. Forms a little box on each side. Just make sure your corners are nice and square so that everything holds together nicely and looks neat. I think I need just a little more glue on this one side. Okay, we're going to have to let that dry just a little bit. Actually, is helping to kind of hold it down on the table like this. Keep everything held nice and neat in place, neatly in place. Okay, so I have that side connected. Now I'll be connecting the other side. Okay, make sure as you're doing this that you notice there's some little grooves on these little flaps that we're adhering. Make sure one is going one direction and the other one is coming in from the other direction. That way you can close your little box when you're done. Basically the top side of the paper needs to... I've, I've set them up properly in the file. You just need to make sure you ad adhere them the same way that you cut them. Don't get one of them flipped upside down. That would not be good. Okay, these little things are tricky to install here. You know what, setting it down on the table really helps a lot, so try that. Okay. That glue takes just a minute to dry. Okay, and I need just a little more glue on this side. I'm so sorry, this is taking a little longer than I had hoped on video, but. This zip dry is really great glue for holding your paper projects together, but it does dry fairly quickly, so it doesn't stay tacky too long. It's kind of like a rubber cement type of a glue. Okay, those two sides are now attached to the base of the box and your little flaps will fold down and you can cross them. I'm not going to cross them right now because I'm letting that glue dry just a little bit better. 
before I move any farther. But you can cross them and they will form a little box where you can put treats and things inside of that part. Um, now we just need to adhere all these cute little pieces that make our gingerbread house fun. So I will decorate the front of the house and you'll know what to do for the back of the house when you're after watching this. I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue to the the roof line. I'm going to actually do both sides at once because the cute little um, snow scalloped edge that I created is all one piece. Makes it nice and easy to put on to your project. Okay. The nice thing about the zip tray it also is if you get a little too much of it uh, somewhere on your project, it rubs off like a rubber cement, so you don't end up ruining anything, which is wonderful. Okay, so I now put on that little trim piece, and the circle is to go over the, the hole. This is meant to be a little tote to be carried, so it's just a little carrying hole, but it also helps to decorate the house just a little bit, giving it a little more character. You certainly wouldn't have to put this trim piece on if you are assembling several of them, but I think it's cute. So it lines up perfectly with the, the hole, so it makes it easy to adhere. And now we will put on the window trims. I'm going to pause this video.